Pharmacies are struggling through the pandemic from the major chains to small locally owned shops. Many are losing staff and cutting hours despite the very high demand for testing and medicine. Marcus Espinoza is live in Winfield with the story. Marcus. Hey, Shana, that last thing you mentioned is very important, important and something you don't want to have right now. A high demand with patients and their needs and a lack of pharmacy and pharmacy workers to help them during this time. And for local pharmacies, the staffing issue is just the tip of the iceberg. We're going to have to consolidate both stores. Pharmacy owner Paul Skoda says the environment right now for small independent pharmacies is a brutal one. Even before staffing issues became a problem, he's faced excessive looting. I'm 90% delivery here. And during the break ins, I was 100% delivery. Um, and now with COVID, people don't want to get, go out. So free delivery, that cost me, you know, money. Just last week, the recent surge of COVID-19 cases has forced Skoda to close his doors for a couple of days due to a lack of employees. He says he fights every single day to keep the local pharmacy around because he believes it's crucial to the fabric of this neighborhood. I think it's more personal. Like, we know the people. Like, when you go to a chain, um, you know, they can have a floater there. It's just... It's all about volume. The effects of the pandemic can be felt across the region, even for large chain pharmacies. CVS and Walgreens also having staffing and shortage issues, causing cutbacks in store hours. Skoda also says retaining workers is quite hard. There's a lot. Uh, I've had technicians quit, just take their vacation and ghost us. You know, we spent months training them to do pill pack. And uh, then they just went home, collected against me. Area resident Vernetta Dunlap says it's essential to keep local pharmacies around. Most people can't afford like the high prices one. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice to have the local ones that to serve on the, the higher ones. Now, he also mentioned there are other challenges, including the supply chain issue, also pricing. They are he according to him, they are getting gouged from uh, from the medicine companies and they have to pass those uh, prices on to customers. And again, it's not affecting just a local pharmacy, CVS, Walgreens having to cut hours due to a uh, lack of uh, workers there. So a huge issue that continues to uh, play communities around our area in so many industries. It just feels like we're surrounded by it. Thank you, Marcus.